Right now, as you're watching this video, there's a machine lurking somewhere in the ocean that carries enough firepower to end civilization as we know it. And nobody knows where it is. Not the Russians. Not the Chinese. Not even most Americans. It could be 400 feet below the Arctic ice. It could be prowling the South China Sea. It could be so close to an enemy coastline that it's counting the propeller blades of their warships. This isn't science fiction. This is the reality of modern submarine warfare. And the most terrifying part? The submarine I'm talking about is so quiet that it's literally quieter than the ambient noise of the ocean itself. Today, we're going deep into the classified world of America's submarine fleet. From the revolutionary USS Virginia, to the apocalyptic Columbia class, to the AI-powered SSNX that's currently being designed, we're about to reveal how these underwater ghosts evolved into the most lethal weapons ever created. But here's the part that will keep you up at night. These submarines aren't just military hardware. They're instruments of psychological warfare that reshape global power without anyone ever knowing they're there. Welcome to the silent world where the loudest message is no sound at all. Let's start with the USS Virginia. Commissioned in 2004, the Virginia class represents a complete reimagining of what a submarine should be. The Cold War was over. The Soviet Union had collapsed. And suddenly, the US Navy faced a new question. What kind of submarine do you build when you're not hunting other submarines in the middle of the Atlantic? The answer? Something versatile. Something deadly. And above all, something invisible. The Virginia-class submarines were designed with one obsession. Silence. Every component, every system, every bolt was engineered to minimize noise. The propulsion system uses a pump jet propulsor instead of traditional propellers, dramatically reducing cavitation noise. The hull is coated with anechoic tiles that absorb sonar waves like a stealth fighter absorbs radar. But here's where it gets truly remarkable. The Virginia's nuclear reactor is designed to last 33 years without refueling. Think about that. 33 years. That's longer than most careers. When a Virginia-class submarine is commissioned, its reactor core is sealed for life. No refueling. No reactor maintenance. Just decades of virtually unlimited underwater endurance. This isn't just convenient. It's revolutionary. It eliminates one of the most dangerous and expensive procedures in submarine operations, and it means these boats can stay on station longer than any submarine in history. Then there's the sonar suite. The Virginia class features the most advanced acoustic sensors ever fitted to a submarine. The bow-mounted spherical array contains thousands of hydrophones that can detect the faintest sounds from hundreds of miles away. It can track dozens of targets simultaneously, filtering out biological noise, commercial shipping, and environmental sounds to focus on potential threats. But the real innovation? The high-frequency sonar embedded in the sail. This provides unprecedented situational awareness when operating in shallow coastal waters, allowing the submarine to map its environment with incredible precision while remaining undetected. The Virginia isn't just a submarine. It's a listening post, a strike platform, a special operations delivery vehicle, and most importantly, it's a ghost. But to understand where we are, we need to understand where we came from. And that means talking about the USS Los Angeles. Commissioned in 1976, the Los Angeles-class submarines were the backbone of the US submarine fleet during the Cold War's most dangerous decades. When the Soviet Union was building submarines at a terrifying pace, when nuclear Armageddon felt like it could happen at any moment, the Los Angeles class was America's answer. 62 Los Angeles class submarines were built. 62. That's more than any other class of nuclear-powered submarines in history. And for good reason. These boats were hunters. Their mission was simple. Find Soviet submarines, track them, and be ready to neutralize them at a moment's notice. 
The Los Angeles class introduced several innovations that became standard on all future American submarines. The anechoic hull coating, designed to absorb active sonar pings. The improved reactor design that provided more power with less noise. The vertical launch system for Tomahawk cruise missiles, turning these attack submarines into long-range strike platforms. But here's what made the Los Angeles class truly special. Continuous improvement. Over its 30-year production run, the Los Angeles class underwent constant refinement. Early boats had limitations. Later boats incorporated lessons learned from decades of operations. The final submarines in the class, commissioned in the 1,990 seconds, were radically different from the first, featuring improved quieting, better sensors, and enhanced combat systems. This philosophy of iterative improvement became the foundation of American submarine design. Don't wait for perfection. Build, learn, adapt, and improve. The Los Angeles-class submarines didn't just win the Cold War beneath the waves. They established the doctrine that still guides submarine operations today. Maintain acoustic superiority at all costs. Because in submarine warfare, the first to detect is the first to kill. And the Los Angeles class made sure America was always first. Now, let's talk about a different kind of submarine. A submarine so powerful, so strategically important, that its very existence changes the calculus of global war. I'm talking about the USS District of Columbia. The first of the Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines. This thing is massive. At 560 feet long, it's one of the largest submarines ever built by the United States. It displaces 20,810 tons when submerged. To put that in perspective, it's nearly twice the displacement of a Virginia-class attack submarine. But size isn't what makes the Columbia-class terrifying. Each Columbia-class submarine carries 16 Trident II D-5 ballistic missiles. Each missile can carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. That means a single Columbia-class submarine has more firepower than most nations' entire nuclear arsenals. These aren't weapons you ever want to use. They're weapons you hope you never have to use. But their existence ensures that no adversary would ever consider a first strike against the United States. This is called deterrence. And the Columbia class is the future of American nuclear deterrence. The submarines they're replacing, the Ohio class, have served with distinction for over 40 years. But they're aging. The first Ohio class boats will reach the end of their service life in the early 2030 seconds. The Columbia class must be ready. What's remarkable is how quiet these massive submarines are. The Columbia class incorporates every stealth technology developed over the past 50 years. Advanced propulsion systems, state-of-the-art sound isolation mounting for all internal machinery, hull designs that minimize flow noise at cruising speed. The engineering challenge was enormous. Build the largest submarine in U.S. Navy history. Pack it with 16 intercontinental ballistic missiles and make it quieter than anything that came before. And they did it. The Columbia class will operate on 90-day patrols, silently prowling the deep ocean, hidden from satellites, submarines, and surface ships. No one will know where they are. No one will be able to track them. No one will be able to stop them. That's the point. In the grim logic of nuclear strategy, these submarines represent the ultimate insurance policy. As long as they exist, as long as they remain undetectable and invulnerable, nuclear war remains unthinkable. They are the silent guardians of peace, through strength, and they're about to become the most capable strategic deterrent ever deployed. But we're not done yet. Because even as the Virginia class continues to prove itself and the Columbia class begins construction, the Navy is already designing the next revolution in submarine technology. Meet the SSN-X, the attack submarine of the future. Now, 
The SSN-X is still in early development. So many details remain classified. But what we do know is fascinating. The SSNX program aims to combine the best characteristics of the Virginia class with cutting-edge technologies that simply didn't exist when the Virginia was designed. We're talking about artificial intelligence enhanced sensors, advanced automation that reduces crew requirements, new propulsion systems that are even quieter and more efficient. One of the most revolutionary aspects is the integration of advanced AI for decision support. Modern submarines generate massive amounts of sensor data, sonar contacts, electronic intelligence, communications intercepts. It's overwhelming. The SSNX will use machine learning algorithms to process this information in real time, identifying threats faster than human operators ever could, suggesting optimal tactical responses and managing the submarine's systems for maximum stealth and efficiency. This isn't about removing humans from the decision loop. It's about giving commanders superhuman situational awareness. The stealth technologies being developed for SSNX push the boundaries of what's physically possible. We're talking about acoustic signatures so low that they approach the ambient noise of the ocean itself. Active stealth systems that can potentially generate acoustic countermeasures, hull materials, that might incorporate metamaterials to deflect sonar waves in unexpected ways. Another key innovation is modularity. The SSNX is being designed so that weapon systems, sensors, and other components can be upgraded throughout the Prower. Submarine service life. This means that an SSNX commissioned in 2040 could receive technology upgrades in 2060 without needing to cut the hull open or conduct extensive retrofits. There's also speculation that the SSNX might be faster than current submarines. The Virginia class sacrificed some speed for quieting, but advances in propulsion technology might allow the SSNX to have both. Imagine a submarine that's quieter than a Virginia but can sprint at speeds approaching a Los Angeles-class boat when necessary. Of course, all this capability comes at a price. The SSNX program is expected to be one of the most expensive submarine programs in history, but the Navy argues it's necessary. As adversaries develop more sophisticated anti-submarine warfare capabilities, American submarines must stay ahead of the curve. The first SSNX boats are expected to enter service in the late 2030 seconds or early 2040 seconds, gradually replacing the Virginia-class submarines as they age out. Now, here's what's truly fascinating about all of this. Modern submarines are as much psychological weapons as they are military assets. Think about it. Right now, at this very moment, there are American submarines somewhere in the world's oceans. We don't know exactly where. Our adversaries don't know exactly where, but they know they're out there. A Virginia-class submarine could be off the coast of any nation, listening to communications, mapping underwater terrain, monitoring naval movements. A Columbia-class submarine could be lurking in the deep Pacific, its nuclear missiles ready to launch within minutes. The uncertainty is the point. When the president sits down for negotiations with a foreign leader, both sides know that American submarines are deployed globally. When a hostile nation considers aggressive action, military planners must account for the possibility that a U.S. submarine is already in position. This is called strategic ambiguity, and it's one of the most powerful tools in international relations. Submarines project power silently. An aircraft carrier battle group is impressive, but it's visible. Satellites can track it. Social media posts from sailors can reveal its location. It makes a statement, but it's a statement everyone can see. A submarine makes no statement at all. It simply exists, somewhere, unseen, until the moment it's needed. During the Cold War, the existence of ballistic missile submarines prevented nuclear war. Both superpowers knew that even a devastating first strike couldn't eliminate the submarines hidden in the ocean depths. Retaliation was guaranteed. 
That logic still holds today, and as long as it holds, the most powerful weapons are the ones that never fire a shot. So, where does all this leave us? The evolution of American submarine technology tells a remarkable story. From the Los Angeles-class boats that won the Cold War, to the Virginia-class submarines that redefined multi-mission capability, to the Columbia-class deterrent that will protect America for decades to come, to the SSNX that will push stealth technology into the realm of science fiction. These machines represent the cutting edge of naval engineering. Billions of dollars, decades of development, thousands of brilliant engineers and sailors, all dedicated to a single goal, maintaining America's dominance beneath the waves. But more than that, they represent a philosophy, the idea that the best weapon is the one your enemy never sees.